shit. Think Enrique could get a job at Burger Shop? What they gonna let you do at Burger Shop with an IQ sub 80? They're just about to let me wash the goddamn dishes. You see what I mean now? They don't even have dishes at Burger Shop. <laughs> <laughs> Remember a time when $20 of your own money actually mattered? Nowadays, for $20, maybe you get a couple of vehicles, some apartments on GTA Online, you know, alongside with your flying fucking broomstick that would put Harry Potter to shame. Well, apparently not. It actually also costs $60. <sighs> I couldn't hate Rockstar more, could I? Of course I can. It's easy for us today to think, you know, $20, you can get a lot with $20, right? You get a few cosmetics and some assets that you'll get pretty much tired of in two weeks. Quite literally, I'm not even exaggerating. But there was a time that instead of that, for $20 you could get a brand new fucking game on top of your game. How crazy is that? Those things were called DLCs. Now, I don't know what kind of bullshit we have nowadays, but those are not DLCs. This, that's a DLC. That's, that's, that's spicy, boy. Now, the start of this video is gonna be a bit bittersweet, since one of the greatest features of the game... I can't show it too much because of YouTube. But the goddamn music, man, it takes me back to the late 2000s, and it's full of bangers. Pésame, induciti tus labios, teisándome otra vez. Oh, man, I love this every time I load into the game. But yeah, the game picks up after the Three Leaf Clover mission where you robbed a bank in GTA 4. That was a pretty dumb idea. I don't think that's such a good idea. As Luis was one of the witnesses in the robbery, where you essentially thought, ah, he was just an NPC, and quite honestly, I think Rockstar did it initially when they developed GTA 4. They picked this guy up as a personal bodyguard of one of the biggest entrepreneurs in Liberty City, Gay Tony. Or, hey, homosexual Tony, how you doing? <laughs> One of the first things you pick up about the start of this game is that the dialogue in this DLC is going to be geniusly fucking hilarious. Fuck, there goes payroll. Who the fuck were those two assholes, T? Fine men of the cloth. Who the fuck do you think they are? Ancelotti goons I borrowed money from. Man, it's been minutes and we're already laughing our asses off in the, the first cutscene. I, I, I didn't see that with GTA 5, you know, like, at any point. I don't know. It just feels better. And let me tell you, I can't find the words to describe how much I miss the driving mechanics of this game. Hey, I'm driving over here. I just love crawling out of crashed vehicles. Hey, don't get wise with me, you fucking asshole. Now, I didn't even remember about this in the game, but the characters will even comment on your dumbass mistakes and failures. All that money on helicopter lessons and you don't even know how to drive? <laughs> Why am I getting attacked like this, man? This didn't happen to GTA <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. I don't remember this. Fucking asshole. <laughs> So right off the bat, you actually get dialogue that feels like dialogue. Things that you could talk in real life. Product, then profit, then pussy. P, P, P. <laughs> Instead of whatever this is. Show me your butthole, fella! <sighs> now, obviously, the biggest inclusion in this game was the addition of actual nightclubs. A whole nightlife behind New York, which obviously here is in the Liberty City. Even though they put some very flexible people as bodyguards, I don't know why. <laughs> the bodyguard is like... <laughs> yeah, nothing happened, man. No one saw that. No one saw that. You're fine. <laughs> now, I really want to talk about the night clothes because obviously they're the, one of the biggest things about the DLC. <laughs> this game's so silly, man. <laughs> but when these two pop up, man, I can't. I can't. Sideline these guys, man. Relax, go inside. I got it. Yeah, go relax. Go inside, man. Eh? No mommy. You need to okay. go relax. Later for you. Ah. Nice, shut up. Okay? <laughs> these stupid. You know, it ain't even like that. Bro. Okay, you don't pay for shit in here. Okay, you just can't be looking like you came from selling dope on the corner. You say that like it's a bad thing. Tony, what do you think? <laughs> Desi wouldn't let me address like that. Huh? You see what I mean? Come to think of it, Lou, what the fuck are you wearing, huh? What? Go home and take a bath. <laughs> do nothing else. Put on some clothes, huh? Yeah, I had a complicated day, okay? All right, so take some time off. The girl's neck could use a night off, too. <laughs> <laughs> this game dialogue is gold, man. 
Now, the objective of this video is not to be an essay. I don't want to bore your mind because this game is just organically good. <laughs> Got hit. Throughout the sequence of events, it just keeps getting better. So I might have a few notes once in a while, but for now, I'm just going to show you just how good of a flow this game has. Seven days. Junkies need junk, rain, sleep, or shine. You ain't no postman, local. You a pusher. All those hours? You'd make more slinging meat at burger shop than risking a bit on them corners. You sound like 5-0. Shit. You think Enrique can get a job at burger shop? What's your IQ, H? 76, motherfucker. What they gonna let you do at burger shop with an IQ sub 80? They're just about to let me wash the goddamn dishes. You see what I mean, now? They don't even have dishes at burger shop. <laughs> All this shit is by the siren. There ain't another job in the city for this dumb bastard to do. <laughs> this is gold, man. <laughs> game feels so much 2000 man i love it man i miss this like th liberty city is that one city that even though i never been to new york ever i never stepped a foot in the united states it makes me feel like i've been here before how ridiculous is that but it's still like so true to me it's so familiar it's so genuine i guess even if it's incredibly silly one of the big ass improvements that we had over GTA 4 with the Balafika Tony was how the missions weren't go here, kill that guy. They got a little bit creative with this DLC. Where is he? He's right down there. Fuck! <laughs> you fucking missed me, you piece of shit. Fucking prick. Oh! Big man! Now look at this brick right here. Right in the balls, right there. Let's add the third one. For our most important investor, Happy, just hit it already. Oh, Ooh, bam! Oh, close. Boy. Where'd you learn to play golf, Lou? Right here, right now. Needs must, don't. To be honest, I never fancied the game. Stupid the fucking game. <laughs> Stupid the fucking game. That's incredibly dangerous. If you want to rescue the guy, why shoot him in that direction? That's very reckless. Oh shit, here comes a shooting. Oh, I love this part. Oh, oh shit. Okay, let's go down, sir. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Oh, that looks so cool, man. And in this game, man, there's like no recoil recovery. I mean, there is recoil recovery. You gotta. Go back to cover. The shooting is actually kind of harder, which makes it even more challenging and actually fun. It's not like a shoot, like shooting a laser. Oh shit! I don't have a lot of ammunition either. Four shots. Oh, three. Two. Oh, I missed. Ah, oh, I'm doing this. Let's go. Yeah, that looks so awesome. Got it. It's just that the shooting feels so much more dramatic. How you doing? Gotcha. Got it. Man, shooting this game is so fun, man. It's actually challenging. It's a little bit harder. But you know, like, shooting this game is actually enjoyable, you know? It's almost as good as shooting in Red Dead Redemption 2. You actually feel the impact of the bullets. It matters. <laughs> That's a psychopath, man. Call me the seeker. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh shit! Ooh. Oh, and it was during this mission that I had a rough awakening that GTA 4 actually has police presence. Wait, why am I driving a golf cart? This is slow as shit, I don't need it. <laughs> Stop there, man. Are you try trying to bite? Hold on a fucking second. Hold on a second. Hold on, Tony. Oh, fuck it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the chances that could be a cop there, oh, he got shot too. <laughs> the cops did not mess around it. <laughs> of all the chances, I'm just used to in playing GTA 5. There's no police around. You never have the risk of getting caught. Here, I got instantly fucking killed. <laughs> That is great. That's another great point about this game. There's actual police. Look at this, Matt. Motherfucking asshole. Oh my god. Holy shit. And that's a cool thing about the driving as well. The AI sometimes will do mistakes, but they don't do mistakes to just fuck you up. They fuck everyone else up, which is kind of more realistic when there's actual car accidents. Holy shit. 
You know, that's why I love this game. It's like imperfect in the right things. For example, losing control here. That should happen. I was driving like an idiot. Here, you have to brake, slow down, because you're not going to go through an open lane. In GTA 5, if you have two lanes, you truly have three. You know what I'm saying? Plus, you got to know all the shortcuts. For example, you know, if you want to go to more, you just do this little simple... Perfect! Oh my god, the way I grind on the vehicle, man. Tony Hawk would be proud of me. <laughs> you know, I'm guessing just, just from looking at you, you ain't exactly packing a 10 inch hose, man. Me? <laughs> I make girls wince. Ah, uh, wince. Oh. Just to level with you for a minute, bro. Tony owes you money. <laughs> yeah, so annoying, man. Ah, man, what are you doing here, Maury? I. <laughs> I'm thinking about moving back home. <laughs> the height difference <laughs> when he logos down. Man. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's a way to do this mission. There's a way to not do it. And this is how to do it. Bye. Oh, that is satisfying. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, I, I want an AK. What the fuck? Oh, actually, I don't need it. Oh, shit. What the fuck? I have a pistol, man. Oh shit, that's a shotgun. Oh no no no! Oh, he saved my ass. He saved my ass. He was in ragdoll. Good to see that the AI in this game. Ah! It's not too only useful. Ooh. That was ridiculous. There's some bombs, man. Now let's take those bitches out for good. Hey. What's the? Oh, okay. I failed. Oh, and close. Oh man, it's not like GTA 5 where throwing a sticky bomb is almost as sure as a hit sinking missile. You know, here you actually gotta aim. So I know it's a bit difficult to see it in this footage, but the sticky bombs aren't actually thrown. They are either dropped on either side of the boat. I've got him. I've got him. Ah shit. On a short range. Yeah, my dumbass didn't know that. Nice. Oh. oh. Okay, you gotta really get close. You can't throw. It's not actual, an actual throw. Damn. Even... I felt like I did well in the mission. And even that, it gave me a 57%. This game actually has challenge. I'm telling you, man. Oh. Beautiful. That's how you do it. That's like a pro. <laughs> now, Armando Calling is a great break in the action for the missions, as the activities in this game makes GTA 5's golf and tennis look like child's play. Oh, guys, don't look at explosions. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, shit. Uh, sorry, officer. <laughs> oh, that felt so awesome. Oh, that's exactly how I wanted to go. That felt so cinematic, man. I love that. Oh, let's get out of here. Man, I feel kind of sick. If you lay for a session of sucking cock, just drop us off. <laughs> they just dropped this one. <laughs> the way they speak, man, it's hilarious. Man, back when Kanye actually did hate the Nazis, he was fun. <laughs> Also parking and shutting the engine down. Why doesn't GTA 5 have this simple little thing as well, man? Like these little things, that's where the game wins. Over a game that came out four or five years after. It's ridiculous. I wonder which one of you bitches is gonna come second. Yeah, hey bitch, get the fuck out of here. Our players our friends aren't gonna play. Get the fuck out. Don't let me see you at the club, cabrón. Uh only one of them? Oh yeah. That kinda makes sense in air hockey, doesn't it? Stupid. Like, these activities are actually kind of fun. Oh! Alright, uh, sensitivity low. Oh, I'm gamer mode right now, my guy. You're fucked. You're fucked. Alright, 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 alright. Right. You pissed me off now. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! Yeah! Ooh. It's actually kind of hard because on the BC it slides a little bit too much. Oh, oh. oh, you got hit with a triple fake. Oh, oh, oh. 
asshole, man. Oh! Oh shit, that was... <laughs> it's tight, go on. <laughs> Come on! One more, one more. Oh, no! No! Come on, this... How am I excited in hair hockey, man? This is not the game, this is a mini game in the game, and I'm excited. Come on. Tall or nothing. Tall or nothing. It's actually, it's, I don't know, this game doesn't hold your hand. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, the hangouts actually feel like hangouts. I don't know how to explain. You actually feel like this would be an activity that you would do with your own guys, you know? Oh, this song. Dude, I don't know, this game gives me such good feels, man. I don't know what it is. It's not nostalgia. As a kid, I didn't appreciate any of this. It's just so goddamn fun. Give it a green I don't know the lyrics. Uh, uh, let me roll right now. That's probably what he said, right? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. Oh. We're good. While talking about activities, maybe we should talk about the nightclubs. Being such a centric part of the game, the activities here couldn't be lacking. You can dance. Woo! Oh shit! Got it. If only it was that easy in real life. <laughs> I know how to press the WASD keys, baby. I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation to these sounds. I would know. <laughs> but be careful, if you dance too well, you'll actually trigger a flash mob. No, 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 not a Twitter mob. A flash mob. This one is safe. Instead of having coitus with a girl. <laughs> Which, uh, I guess I would call that getting cock blocked by your own success. I understand DJ Kellen now. Additionally, you could get into a champagne contest that gets you so drunk you wake up inside the fucking Statue of Liberty. And of course I would have footage to show you that if the PC version wasn't so fucking broken. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> I'm trying. What the fuck? <laughs> Whatever, I still have my dignity. Oh shit. Ooh. Now, if you don't see Maisonette 9 as a fun spot, but rather a workplace, well, the game also has you covered on that, as you can act as a bouncer. Oh. If you really like fighting, why don't you fight me and Desi? Still getting your hands dirty. That's what I like to see. Even though it will still be fun, in a way. Oh shit, what's happening? What you need, Jay? Whoa! You're floating. No oh, oh shit. What's happening? This doesn't seem like an emergency. You work so hard, I thought you needed a break. Oh, I scared me fucking hell. <laughs> oh, grower, okay. You sure ain't a shower. That's exactly what a guy wants to hear when <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, girl. Now, the mission's moods, let's call it, can range from family based and tense. In other words, she's been living beyond her means. Hey, bro, be polite when you talk about my mother, man. I'm being very polite. See, I like her. She's a good woman. If I ain't like her, I would have burned this building down by now. I mean, you know you could have came to me for money. But what would you do to get it? Yeah, I wouldn't borrow it for a piece of shit like this. Hey, be careful, kid. I could have you killed. Oh, I'm real scared of you, motherfucker. Huh? How do you sleep at night, man? But the game is still tense, you know what I'm saying? This is so beautiful writing. Well, to a certain extent, it's still GTA. It could get a lot worse, my friend. Now calm the fuck down. <laughs> In the background, you just hear her grab me. <laughs> Give her my titties, you fuck. <laughs> All the way to over-the-top Hollywood-type missions. Let's go. Hello. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I remember doing this as well. Hold on. Yes. This is big brain time. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, look at that. Oh, man, that is so fucking cool. But I like how a random thing that you do is programmed by the bots to, like, recognize, oh, this happened. Oh, that so looks so cinematic. The, the attention to detail is just another level, man. Oh, the, the kills just feel so personal, man. It's amazing. <laughs> the diversity in missions for this DLC is just out of this world. Nothing you can do, Yusuf. Five minutes later. <laughs> He's a real one, man. Get him, boy. You can have serious missions like, you know, we have in GTA 4. In fact, connecting with the main game GTA 4. Hold on, Nico. I will help you. And here's where I fuck up the universe. I got it, Nico. You my boy. Hey, 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 why is your boy attacking me? Ah, hey, Nico! Nico! You're going rogue! Come on, man. Oh shit. <laughs> what a jig shot of a character, man. I love Nico. You can meet this crazy Arab guy that refuses to wear pants. Yusuf! And will be responsible for the 90% of the cool missions that you get in the game. <laughs> Dude, I can't hear myself think, and I don't think I want to. But even the serious missions, let's call it, the ones that you try to help out your family or Armando and Enrique. I took a dive in that fight for you, mommy. You don't know that guy any more money. What do you mean you took a dive? Do you mean you lost? You claim to be some big shot, and you can't even win a fight for your mama? I lost a fight for you, mommy. Excuse me, bitch. I didn't ask you to lose no fight. I did not ask for losers in my family. You know what? Forget about it, ma. Just don't go borrowing any more money. See you soon. Damn, okay, that was a fucking 180. I hate this bitch now. <laughs> I should have killed the guy. Even those are the type of missions to introduce to such a great feature like a fight club. But here, for example, look at this. Boom. Bam. 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 Go down, bitch. Different combos and all that. Look at this finisher right here. Bam, bam, and spin. Boom. Ooh. And in GTA 5, this would be kind of lame, but in this DLC, since it uses GTA 4's complex fighting system, oh man, this is so Ooh. goddamn fun. It's so cool, man. I love the combat system in this game. And listen, I'm recording as this goes, as I'm editing the video. As you can notice, it has been a few days. I have no hair now. There's so much unused footage because there's honestly so much to talk about this video. Like the epic way this game ends. You can't shoot me. Bye. Nico would be proud. Oh shit. You know? Let's go. Damn, that's how you finish the fucking mission. Oh, I hit the wrong fucking button. <laughs> oh shit. But I'm gonna finish with this, okay? If you're gonna take Armando and Enrique out, do not take them to Hercules. Actually, do take them to Hercules. Mr. Lopez. <laughs> Line up the shots there now. <laughs> they don't mind. Shit face now. I am totally Shut up. Can we do something different? 